Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to install Active Directory on Windows Server 2019. Before we proceed with the installation, let me tell you about the prerequisites. There are two basic prerequisites to proceed with the installation. The very first thing is you should log into the Windows Server using the local administrator account. You should have access to local administrator account. The second thing is you must set up a static IP address. You must configure a static IP address for the server on which you are going to install Active Directory. Let's verify both of this. Going to command prompt, I will type who am I? And it is saying that I am logging to the server using a local administrator account. Let me show you the IP configuration which I have done. I have configured a static IP address which is 10.1.1.50 with a subnet mask 255.255.255.0. Default gateway is 10.1.1.200 and I have configured the primary DNS server to be same as the static IP address which I have given to the server that is 10.1.1.50. So this both are the prerequisite. Moving on. We will proceed with the installation of Active Directory. For installation of Active Directory, again you have two steps. Step number one is you have to add Active Directory domain services, roles and features. And step number two is you need to promote this server to domain controller. So for starting with the Active Directory installation you need to go to server manager from here or else if you don't find the option on the top you can simply search it by typing server manager and click on this so now you are on the server manager dashboard let me give you the dashboard overview over here you have like you can configure this local server you can add roles and features which we are going to add in some time you can add other server to manage and so other options you have. Then in the tools over here, uh, it's a tools which you can utilize like when you will be installing Active Directory, you, we will be installing DNS, all these things we, uh, we can see over here. Moving on to the local server, it gives you detailed the properties of your Windows server. You can see the computer name, the IP address which you have configured recently that is 10.1.1.50. So that's all about the overview. Let's begin with the installation now. The very first step is to add dom Active Directory domain services, roles and features. So you will click on add roles and features. Uh, add roles and features wizard is open for you. You will be clicking next over here. Then you will find two options whether you want to proceed with the installation as role based or feature based installation. The second option is a remote desktop service installation. We will keep this option default since we have to configure a single server by adding roles, role services and features. So keeping this option as default role based or feature based installation, you will click next. Now again over here, you have two options whether you want to select a server or a virtual disk. We will be selecting our own server that is 10.1.1.50. So we'll keep the default option as check that is select a server from the server pool. Uh, this is our server 10.1.1.50 and you will click next over here you have to check the box for active directory domain services once you click on the box this add roles and features wizard will open a new window you, uh, you have to keep this setting as default and you will click on add features now you can see that active directory domain services box is checked you will click next on this page, you will again click next, keeping the settings as default. Click next. Over here, it is saying to install, uh, saying that click on install so that all these uh, roles and features which we have selected in our previous window will begin installation. So you will click on install to proceed with the installation. So guys, over here, it will take a bit time. Till that time, I will just pause the video. Till the time the installation finish. So the installation is succeeded over here. It is saying that conf 
installation succeeded on this machine we will close this and we have completed with our step number one where we have added active directory domain services roles and features step number two is to promote this server to domain controller if you will see it's a notification showing over here simply you have to click over here you will find a link promote this server to a domain controller you have to click on this link promote this server to a domain controller now we are starting with our step number two to promote our server to a domain controller it has opened a new wizard that is active directory domain services configuration wizard on the first window itself over here you can see three options add a domain controller to an existing domain add a new domain to an existing forest add a new forest so guys uh, i have very well explained about the domains forest trees in our theory tutorials since we are installing this for the first time and we don't have any domain existing domain now we have an existing forest so over here we will be selecting an option add a new forest just click on this add a new forest box checkbox and now it is asking you for a root domain name you will provide a domain name as per your convenience you can say lab.com lab.local or xyz.com so i will be choosing noornetworks.com by giving this name, specifying the root domain name, I will click on next. Over here, it is asking you to select the functional level of the new forest and domain name. For the functional level and the domain functional level, we have understood in our previous theory tutorials. I will prefer to choose Windows Server 2012 R2 for forest functional level as well as Windows Server 2012 R2 for domain functional level. Keeping this box checked over here as default, I will proceed with the DSRM password that is Directory Service Restore Mode Password. You can give the password as whatever you want. I will choose my password over here and I will click on Next. Over here, keeping everything as default, you will simply click Next. Now over here it is verifying the NetBIOS name and it will fetch the NetBIOS domain name to be no networks. We have to wait here for a few seconds till it fetch the NetBIOS domain name. It, you can see it has fetched no networks over here. Simply you will click next. Over here it is specifying the location of Active Directory, Domain Services, Database, Log Files and System Volume. Database folder is where the Active Directory data uh, is stored. Log files are like where you will find logs for login, logout, invalid attempts and so on and System Volume folder. The path is by default shown as C, Windows, NTDS and System Volume and so on. So I will keep this path as default and I will click Next. Over here it is giving you the review of your selection uh, to review your selection whatever selection we have done in our past previous uh, you can say previous uh, windows it is giving you all the details that you have selected the domain name so and so the for functional level domain functional level and so on for the future reference if you want to just view this uh, script you can click on view script and you can save it somewhere on your desktop if you wish, this is optional. If you don't want, you can. You do, you don't have to. So this detail, if you find everything is perfect, you haven't done any kind of mistake. Everything is perfect, then you will simply click on next. It is doing a prerequisite check over here. Before the Active Directory domain service is installed on this computer, it will perform a prerequisite check. It is saying that all prerequisite check passed successfully. Click install to begin the installation. You will click on install button over here. Now the installation has inst started. Once the installation finished successfully, the server will reboot. So now the installation is going to take a bit time. Till that time again, I will pause the video. 
so the installation is completed successfully and now the server will reboot let's close this the server has reached, uh, started to reboot now till the time it is rebooted again I will keep the video pause now the server is restarted uh, guys it took some time it will take some time for the restart so you have to wait and nothing to worry about it let's log into the server over here you can see that now it is giving me my domain name which is new networks so i will log into the server over here So finally we have successfully installed the Active Directory, the two steps which we use uh, were added the roles and features for Active Directory domain services then we promoted our server to domain controller. If you will go to tools over here you will see the Active Directory components like Active Directory sites and services, Active Directory users and computers and so on. Let's go to Active Directory users and computers over here. And over here you will see the pre-configured objects which means our active directory is successfully installed moving on let's check the status of the dns going to tool again over here we will sit, click on dns and it will open the dns manager for us let's check the dns manager status as well this is our dns and this is our windows machine over here you will expand this you will find forward lookup zone and reverse lookup zone forward lookup zone is used to resolve domain name that is a human readable name to a ip address that is machine readable format and a reverse lookup zone is used to resolve the ip addresses to domain name so whenever we, uh, the domain name is resolved to ip address forward lookup zones come into the role and whenever uh, ip address is resolved to a domain name then a reverse lookup zone comes into the role over here you will see one thing that forward lookup zone uh, has a zones already defined over here but when you talk about the reverse lookup zone there is nothing so we will be adding a reverse lookup zone just going to reverse lookup zone over here click reverse lookup zone and then you have to right click over here right click on a reverse lookup zone oh from this option you have to select new zone the new zone wizard will open for you click next we will be creating a copy of the zone that can be updated directly on this server so you will, we will choose for the primary zone and keep this checkbox as default that is store the zone in active directory keeping this uh, options default you will click next over here again we will keep the default option that is to all dns server running on domain controller in this domain you will click next we will be going for ipv4 release lookup zone since we are working on ipv4 address only till uh, now over here i mean on this particular server we have configured ipv4 address only and we have done nothing on ipv6 we will choose the default option that is ipv4 reverse lookup zone and click next it is asking for network id our network id uh, will be 10.1.1 okay then what you are going to do is here you have a reverse lookup zone name so let me select 10.1.1.1 and it has taken the reverse lookup zone name as 1.1.10.in.addr.arpa so giving the network id 10.1.1 you will click next over here again you have uh, options allow only secure dom uh, domain updates which is a recommended for active directory then you have allow both non-secure and secure dynamic updates and do not allow dynamic updates we will be allowing only secure dynamic updates which is recommended for active directory and you will click next and then click finish so we have added a reverse lookup zone over here So guys, that's all about the installing of Active Directory DNS Manager and 
adding the forward lookup zone and reverse lookup zone let's try to ping our domain over here once ping no networks.com and you can see the reply is coming from the IP address 10.1.1.50 so that's all guys uh, for this tutorial in the next tutorial we will be configuring organizational units we will be creating a user group objects thank you so much guys for watching my video if you like my video please subscribe to my youtube channel and do share with your friends thanks and see you in the next tutorial